we met with all these people together in the folk dance group, and uh, we actually ran a performing group called Mandala International Dancers. And uh, there we are in 1978, uh, my parents of beloved memory, and uh, happy couple, <laughs> beaming bride. I was 21. And uh, cutting the cake. <laughs> so in uh, 1992, when I was in my early 30s and had been married um, to my husband for more than a decade, and we had two children who were one and four, I discovered these diaries, these three sketchbooks that are just slightly smaller than um, this wedding album. And uh, we were in Chicago on a vacation in August of 92, and I had come with the children uh, out to Chicago. He came back from a business trip to San Francisco, and, and he had um, shaved off all of the hair on his arms and chest and legs and uh, could not give an explanation. He had not been in training for a triathlon. And um, so I knew there must be something up. I, it was uh, quite, uh, quite a shock. And um, uh, I found the diaries in the suitcase, um, and in it uh, he describes and notes down how he had been going out cross-dressing instead of going to the graduate school classes. That was the sort of story I got. Um, and uh, he noted down how resentful he was of me and how the children wouldn't stop bothering him when he wanted peace and quiet and things. and and. Um, and that led to uh, a couple of years of, of struggle with him, kind of struggling with this, what is his identity, he told me. He didn't have a plan, but, um, but then he was going to this person, Ruth, who, uh, who did have a plan, and in 1996 he had uh, the operation uh, over at Stanford, and, um, and by then we were separated. And uh, so I call myself a grass widow. Some of us uh, call ourselves trans widows. But I, I sort of choose the more poetic term grass widow because um, it's like I'm, my husband is no more. He, he says that his male uh, persona is dead and, uh, and I don't have a grave that I can mourn at. Um, uh, I just have a kind of difficult uh, person that I'm trying to co-parent with. and. Um, uh, so it's like you have a passive patch of grass and, and not a grave. So I call myself a grass widow, and that's in the subtitle of my memoir, The Curated Woods. So in uh, 1992, after more than a decade of marriage, and when our children were uh, uh, one and four, um, my husband and I met sort of on a vacation where I was coming from New York, and he came back from a business trip to San Francisco, but. He showed up with all of his uh, uh, hair on his arms and legs and chest shaved off and um, uh, he wouldn't explain why it wasn't that he was training for, you know, a triathlon or something. And, and uh, so I knew that I would look for something. And so the something that I found was these books a little smaller than the wedding album here, but um, th there were three of these diaries where he was describing how he was exploring his new transsexual identity and what name should he take and oh how annoying the children are and um, you know uh, I feel so uh, impatient with my wife and why is she always uh, going through my things or something and and uh, I was I was absolutely in shock um, shaking Oh, my father-in-law was in this uh, home office in the in the same apartment, and um, and then you know we went through uh, a couple of years of back and forth. He changed his mind, and then secretly started taking estrogen and went to this uh, perf person, non-professional, uh, so-called therapist. And in 1996, he, after we separated, he got the uh, the operation out at Stanford. So. This was our uh, folk dance friends. That's how we met at folk dancing. Uh, there's me and that's him. And uh, we first met in uh, 1975. This is 1978 at our marriage. Uh, we actually had this folk dance group called Mandala International Dancers. We performed and uh, those were happy days. 
and uh, there we are, the happy couple. And uh, my lovely, my parents of blessed memory. And uh, yeah, I think we seemed happy. <laughs> Beaming bride. And uh, cutting the cake, the cake was so good. There were no leftovers. <laughs>